What is up YouTube? It is your boy Shabby Shambles here. Hope you are having a good Halloween. Uh, I'm representing Turtle Hermit Kung Fu today. Uh, my Saiyan wig did not come so I'm looking more like Krillin than like Goku with this uh, hairline I got going. But you know we still out here. We're still representing uh, Master Roshi Kame House. Getting it going. Uh, we were planning a Halloween stream, but due to some technical difficulties, we have to do Market Monday as a recording. But that's okay. We'll get that straightened out. We'll start streaming soon. Obviously, the, the big earnings call that we want to talk about is Pound here next week. Um, what are our plays going into that? What is it looking like? Um, is it? Are we bullish on it? Are we bearish on it? Um, but I'm going to, I'm going to have that in its own separate video, uh, that I'll get up later today, but I wanted to talk more generally about the markets, about what I think they're going to do and tell you about some really interesting opportunities that I see, uh, in the markets. Now, none of this is financial advice, be aware of that, but it is my opinion and I hold my opinions in pretty high regard. So... Um, after last week's disastrous earnings call with, uh, with these, these tech giants, um, I tend to, to, to like a little bit more of a bearish period. Um, I think this week's going to be sort of, uh, flat, um, to, uh, maybe a little bit down, um, as earnings calls come in as, as, uh, and especially with. Uh, big tech having underperformed, I think it's going to have a little bit of a deflationary effect on the markets. Specifics here. Um, one of the really interesting things that I'm seeing is two semiconductor stocks. One that already reported, I think it was pre-market today or mid-market today. Uh, the others reporting their Q3 earnings pre-market tomorrow, I believe. And... The, the one that reported today is way down. They, um, honestly, I looked it over. It didn't look that bad to me. Um, but I must be missing something because they're down around 8%. Um, maybe they just got inflated and, and hyped up. They didn't actually outperform earnings. Um, and I, I think there's reason to believe um, that, that Q4 is going to be a tough, tough quarter for semiconductor manufacturers um, because China is the world's largest producer of silicone and China is not doing great. China is undergoing a moment of political economic crisis. I think it's hard to know exactly what's going on in China, but we know that their stock market is down. We know that there's money flooding out of China. We know that Xi Jinping is doing whatever he's doing for the Communist Party um, internally, and they're having a bit of a moment. So we are, are I, I think quarter four is maybe um, looking pretty, pretty bad for the semiconductor manufacturers. And I think that might be part of why, why these stocks are down. But the reason I mentioned it here is because Nvidia's earnings call is next week and AMD's earnings call is tomorrow after market after market I think I, I think post market yeah and the the semiconductor manufacturers play very heavily into what these these ship manufacturers are able to do um so if they are underperforming earnings it leads me to believe that that these these chip manufacturers, AMD and Nvidia, are are also going to underperform uh, where their earnings are set. Um, and Nvidia is up 11, 12 percent this month. I think um, what what I might be looking to do maybe at the end of the week. I bought a bunch of calls in Palantir, um, so maybe at the end of the week I'll get out of those calls um, before Palantir earnings come out, and I'll look to maybe throw some puts on NVIDIA. Now, maybe, right? Maybe, depends on where Palantir is, depends on where NVIDIA is, um, depends on if I feel like 
making another bet at the end of the week. Um, obviously, this is around earnings season. This is options around earnings season, and it's it's gambling. You know, it's and with anything, there are smart bets, there are stupid bets, there are good bets, there are bad bets, but none of this is a sure thing. And so be very careful where you put your money and be very careful what you're doing with it. The market is going to have... Uh, is a little bit inflated at this point. Um, I think some people in the market were uh, thinking that, oh, we're getting out of September. September is traditionally a bad month for stocks. Oh, um, see a good Q3 and it'll break us out of this bear market, I think we're going to be here for another couple of quarters. Um, I think we're going to be in this bear market for a little bit longer. I think that there are good bets starting to come out. There are opportunities for those who have money waiting in the wings, who have been smart about where they allocate, I really do think that the general market sentiment is going to stay bearish through till 2023. Uh, that's my bet. That's what I'm thinking. And I think this because, you know, you, you can you can say the market's going to go whichever way. You can make bets the market's going to go whichever way. You know, week to week, you might be right, you might be wrong, but the, the, the fundamentals stay the same. Uh, the Fed is still raising interest rates. Uh, raising interest rates causes less money to be in circulation as borrowing constricts. And the less money there is, the less money there's going to be in the markets. And the fewer people are going to get involved. Now, if you want to get involved, if you have money lying around that you are thinking of throwing in the markets, I think it would be a great time to do so. That's just my, my opinion, my perspective. Um, I'm going to dump all the money I got sitting on the sidelines into the market over the next few months. I'm going to dollar cost average into stocks I like, uh, maybe make some aggressive bets on puts and calls, see if I can't, um, get a little bit of, uh, momentum going with that and then just throw it all into, uh, stocks I think are going to go up and really, really enjoy, uh, 2023, I think. Yeah, that's where I'm at. That's where I'm. That's where I'm thinking about the markets, um, and we'll just have to wait and see. I, I don't think it's going to be a, a very dynamic week. I don't think we're going to see a lot of ups. I don't think we're going to see a lot of downs. I think it's going to be relatively static this week. We'll see where we're at, we'll see where we're at on Friday. Uh, I might do like a market week wrap up where I say. Where I go over the earnings and I go over uh, where I'm moving my money and what I'm thinking about. Um, but I'll have to I'll have to see. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Remember, uh, remember to like and subscribe uh, if you enjoyed the videos. And yes, yeah, stay tuned for updates and all that. Uh, I appreciate you guys tuning in and take care of yourselves and have a happy Halloween.